API gateways are an important component in every single modern architecture. In this video, we're going to talk about Blue Edge, a next generation API gateway based on Envoy. It provides features like routing, security, data transformation, and delegation. We're going to start by seeing how we can do the routing in Blue Edge. An important feature in API gateways is the routing. Using Blue Edge, we can route to multiple types of app streams, like Kubernetes services or Lambda functions, or VMs. In this demo, we're going to see how to route to a Kubernetes service. To configure Glue Edge, we use custom resource definitions, CRDs, that can be persisted in Git, for example, and deployed to a Kubernetes cluster using a GitOps approach. So the two most important are AppStreams and virtual services. AppStreams are a representation of a destination. It can be a static app stream to a VM, for example, it can be a Kubernetes service, console, lambdas, and more. Once the service gets created in Kubernetes, Blue Edge will detect it and create an app stream for it. And we can use this app stream for our routing. In this example, I have an application already installed, the book info application. Let's look at one app stream. An AppStream has a type. It can be Kubernetes, console, static, or more. In this case, it's a Kubernetes service that points to the review service on a certain port. Now let's configure the gateway to route traffic to that AppStream. For that, we use a virtual service. A virtual service has a domain, then hatchers that can be path or headers or multiple, and then a destination. In your virtual service, you can define top-level policies like WAF, OPA, rate limiting, and all that, or match also defined policies at the route level. Here we see that the gateway is not routing anything. We're going to apply the virtual service and configure Glue to serve traffic and routing to the upstream that we defined. And we see here that now the gateway routes all the traffic to the product page of the booking for application. In certain scenarios, we need to route multiple upstreams, like when we introduce a new version of an application. In this example here, we'll see how to route to a new version of the booking for application. We see now that we route to two different upstreams one serving the red stars and one the black stars. But Glue Edge supports multiple types of routing. It can route to subsets. It can also route based on claims from headers in YDC flow, for example. In the next section, we're going to see security and explore YDC. Security is a key component of API gateways. Using Glue Edge, we can secure the traffic Enforce OIDC policies, WAF, OPA, and more. One common scenario can be that an admin wants to allow certain IPs using WAF. Then rate limit based on these IPs. Then authenticate the call using OIDC. And finally, authorize the call using OPA. In this video, we're going to see how to enforce OIDC using Blue Edge. Glue Edge provide multiple security policies out of the box, like YDC, API Key, OPA, and WAF. Glue Edge can also be extended using Go plugins to write your own authentication authorization mechanism. Glue Edge also support WASM, where you can write your own filters that provide an extra layer of security. Now let's see how we integrate Glue Edge with your IDP. For that, we'll need to write an auth config and attach it to our virtual service. The auth config looks like this, where you have all the information needed to connect to your IDP. And after creating your auth config, you just attach it to your virtual service. And this is here. Now let's apply these changes. After applying this, we can go back to our gateway 
can test it out. We see that now we need to authenticate before hitting the backend. This is how we integrate OIDC with Glue Edge. This workflow can be extended, for example, extracting the claims from the JOT and route or rate limit based on it. In the next section, we'll see transformations. Glue has a powerful transformation API where you can add header, remove headers, extract headers from a JSON body, for example, transform a JSON body, adding fields, transforming XML, for example, and more. The transformation feature can be extended using WASM2. To demo the transformations, we're going to use a rate limiting policy and then transform the error code to something more user friendly. First, let's just create a rate limiting policy on our virtual service. Now, if I go back to the page and refresh a couple times, we can receive an error for 29, meaning that the API got rate limited. Now, let's make this page more user friendly. We're going to modify our virtual service to add a transformation. Every code 429 on the response will be transformed with this HTML. Then we're going to apply to virtual service and see how this is going to be changed. Let's trigger a rate limit, and we see that now we received this HTML page. That is actually a transformation that applied. In the next section, we're going to talk about delegation. Delegation is an important feature when working in a large company. Often, we need a team managing a virtual service at a top level domain applying corporate policy and delegating a part of the system or the API to different teams. For example, example.com will be the main domain and we'll have like WAF rules or rate limiting policy at the organization level. Then example slash API one will go to team one and they can add retries or other custom policies that are needed for their APIs. Let's see how we do that in Glue Edge. For that, we'll need to look at the virtual service where we added the route table. A route table is a separate CRD it can be the delegation that a team can manage. Let's say this is for team one. Now, this route table can be attached to the main virtual service in the routing, and you can enforce error back on the main virtual service so the users can modify it, but they can modify the route table. And that's how we manage multiple teams, modifying their APIs attached to one virtual service. In this video, we explore how to do routing, data transformation, security, and delegation using Glue Edge. But Glue Edge can do more. We invite you to check Solo.io for more info, and thank you.